everyone, welcome back to Cybrosis. Today, in this video, I'll be talking about how to configure help desk teams inside the help desk module of Odoo 70. Before moving on to the configuration of help desk team, let's talk about the importance of a help desk team. Now, this is the first point of contact for employees and customers. Whenever your customers need answers, they'll be contacting the help desk. So, isn't it important to have a very efficient team? Yes. So you can go to the help desk module and inside the configuration section of the module, you have this option to create and configure your help desk team. So let's move on to the module and see how to do that in detail. Okay, so now let's move on to the configuration of help desk teams. So for that, what you have to do first is go to the help desk module and open it. And inside the configuration, you have this option called help desk teams. So what you have to do is go to configuration and open this help desk team and here is the place where you configure new teams. So you can see the pre-created ones such as VIP support and customer care. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new help desk team. So let it be a service team. So I'm naming it as new service team. Okay, and here you have an option to describe your team to your colleagues and customers. So when your customer take a look at the team, it that is the description should give an idea about what your team is and for what this team has been built. Okay, so you can simply describe your team in a few words here under the area where the description can be given. Okay, here you have the company and by default, the logged in company will be taken. And then you have the visibility and assignment section. Now inside this, you have a few things called visibility, follow all teams tickets, followers and automatic assignment. So what is visibility? Visibility is to choose people whom this team and its ticket will be visible to. So you have three options, which is to keep it private for the company only and also public. So private in the sense only invited internal users can view the tickets and all which is assigned to this team. And then you have all internal users, which is the company. And then you have both, which is invited portal users as well as all internal users. So right now I'm using this, I mean, I'm putting the visibility as public. Okay. So you can see one more point, which is given here, which is grant portal users access to your help desk team or tickets by adding them as followers. Customers automatically get access to their tickets in their portal. Okay. Now you have follow all teams tickets. Now you can add followers here. Okay. So I'm adding Abigail. Then you have like you can add anyone, I'm adding Beth Evans and whoever you want, you can add them as followers. Now this is Polo All Teams Tickets. This is to receive notification whenever tickets are created or rated or even discussed on this team. Okay, it's simply to notify y'all. And then you have this automatic assignment. Now if you check on this, this is to assign tickets automatically to the right people. Okay, so this, this actually makes sure that everybody have equal number of tickets and tickets have been handled properly. Now, two options are here for this, which is each user is assigned an equal number of ticket and each user has an equal number of open ticket. So you can choose both. If there are two users in the sense A and B, A has two tickets and B, are, B is having three. So the ticket that is when a new one comes, when a new lead comes, what happens is that that will be, you know, assigned to the one that is A with two tickets. Okay. So that's what A, making this you know, equal number of tickets for each user means. And if, you know, you're choosing the second option, each user has an equal number of open tickets means what happens is that they'll look who has open tickets. Okay. And they'll be considering the count of open tickets for each and that will be made equal. So right now I'm putting it as each user is assigned an equal number of ticket. And then you can see the team members. So here is the important part of building a team, right? So the team members can be seen here. Yeah? You can assign members to the team as well. Okay. And then you have the channels next. Now inside channel, you have this email alias as well as live chat. Now you can create tickets by sending mail. Okay. So that's email alias. Now you can choose the domain that is the alias mail can be set here. And even you can choose from which all mails you are accepting emails. Okay. So right now the thing is uh, everyone, you can put it as followers only authenticated employees or authenticated partners. So you can choose from whom and all you should receive a mail. Okay. So that's it. Now here you can set the email alias and all. Now here you have live chat. 
So that is to get in touch with your website visitors and engage them with scripted chatbot conversation. Now you know that you can create tickets from live chat also. So for that you have certain codes which is slash ticket. Using the slash ticket you can create tickets slash search underscore tickets which is to find tickets and then you have this shortcut to insert canned response in your message. Okay, so that's the live chat section. So that's the channels which is coming under the help desk teams. Next, you have the help center. Now, this help center will basically be something which is created to help the customers who are in need. So for that, you have things like website form, knowledge, e-learning and community forum. Now, this website form is to get uh, tickets through online form. Okay, so you can check it if you need and then you can choose the website over here. Then you have this knowledge module. So that is if, if any kind of customers have any questions and all, these answers can be put in form as articles. Now you know what knowledge module is used for. Inside this knowledge module, you can create articles, right? So these articles can be used as an answer, okay? As an answer to the questions which is created by the uh, customers, okay? So they can get the answers for whatever questions you are asking. So that's the knowledge module's role in the help center. Then you have the community forum. So here in the community forum, customers can answer each other's questions on a forum. That is, they can answer the questions, I mean, answer questions whichever they know. And also, they can even ask questions to others so that other people who are having some information or some knowledge about the things can reply you. So that's community forum. Then you have e-learning. So, you know, uh, all the confusions and, you know, all kind of things can be solved just by using the presentations and videos and that can be even organized into courses. So that's the role of e-learning in Help Center. Now you have this track and build time. Okay. So it's important to track the time and all which is spent on tickets as well as to build the time spent on your tickets. So both is possible by using the track and build time. So here we have time sheet as well as time billing. So the time is tracked using time sheet and that tracked time is billed using this time billing okay so you know once you start working on a ticket the time has been tracked okay so that's the timing and i mean the time and billing that is the track and billing then you have this performance where you have this sla policy and customer rating you know what sla policies are right sla policies are service level agreements and this can be enabled here and used for handling a ticket okay and that is you can make sure a ticket is handled properly then you have the customer rating so that is to, you know, enable your customers to put ratings on the uh, tickets. That is the satisfaction can be given. Now, if you check it, you can even publish your team's rating on your website. Okay, so that's the option given here. That's the performance, which is to analyze your team's performance. Then you have the self-service that is closure by customer and automatic closing. So co closure by customer is very simple. That is, you are allowing the customers to close their own tickets. Okay, so the customer is getting the access to close their own tickets. Then you have this automatic closing. That is, whether if, if there is any tickets which are inactive, those inactive tickets will close automatically. So there is one more thing. If you enable it, you can choose the number of days. That is, there is a ticket which is inactive for seven days. After the seven days, what happens is that this will be closed automatically. So similarly, you can change the number of days. And you can also choose to which stage this should be moved to. So that's the sales service. Then you have after sales where you have refunds, returns, field service, coupons and repairs. The refunds which is used to issue credit notes. Returns is to return faulty products. Coupons is to grant discounts, free products or even shipping. Then you have the repairs for, you know, sending broken product for repair. And then you have the field service which is to plan on-site interventions. So that's basic things. I mean, the, those are the basic things which comes under the help desk team uh, creation. Then you have smart tabs like tickets and SLA policies. Now, whenever you use this team to, I mean, any tickets are assigned to this team and any SLA policies are created for this team, those count will come here. So I'll show off the previously created teams. Let's go back. So this is of help desk team. Now, uh, as of I mean, when we were beginning, we saw two other teams which were pre-created. Okay. So if you just go back to the other teams, you have this VIP support and customer care. I'm just opening this customer care over here. 
let's see okay so it's loading now inside the customer care let's see what the smart tab looks like here you have the smart tabs like sla policies the count is two tickets is seven then you have the average rating and also the option to go to website so this is how it looks like once you start involving your team okay so that's basically how you configure your help desk team i hope it's clear so that's how you can easily manage and create teams for the help desk module that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching see you in the next video